to see, let's see what we can do with this thing. Um, oh, I got. I guess I gotta actually play something. How do you, how do you guys like this sweet tune? It's ca I call it Jay's Melody. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming Jay, and join me today as we play the Ocarina of Time. Little Link showing off his skills there. This, of course, is my last Let's Play Thousand One video. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Talk much, Jay. This, of course, is my last Let's Play One Thousand One Games uh, video that I'm going to make in the year 2016. This is a part two to my Ocarina of Time, and it's the last one that I'm going to be making. Now, last time. We found ourselves trapped inside of this Deku tree. It is the first dungeon, of course, in the game. We have fought our way through spiders and the incessant nagging of Navi to find ourselves at what looks like a diving platform into a spider web. So let's just go for it. Yeah! That worked out pretty well, as well as as well as could be expected, really. We didn't die, and when you jump from great heights onto a giant spider web. I mean, that's, that's all you can really hope for. So let's go ahead and murder all the indigenous life here. And then uh, figure out where to go from there. So there's a there's a spider. Spiders are evil by nature. Evil incarnate. Kill that crap. What is that over there? I don't know. I hear another one over here. Where are you? Reveal yourself, spider. Am I, am I stupid? Oh, there it is. Man, they really blend in here. So I said this about this game in the last video, but, um, you know, y you can't criticize these early Polygon games too much for, like, the graphics because, you know, they were, like, the first of their kind and it was a very early era of video game 3D stuff. So it's like, you know, you have to... Uh, what is happening here? <laughs> I like how he can't even pull, like, leaves out of the grass. It's, like, too much for him. He's like, oh, my back! But anyway, you can't criticize these old games too much in the graphics department for like the clarity of their textures or anything like that, or how many, you know, how blocky things look. And, uh, but you can, I think, criticize color choices sometimes. And so far in this game, I've seen lots of like shades of brown and like bland greens. And like, to be completely honest, you know, the, I mean, the graphics, they're not, they haven't blown me away. They've been kind of boring because of the bland colorings and like, you know, I'm sorry if you, if you love Zelda. I mean, I'm not trying to take away from the game, but like, honestly, the colors, it just hasn't struck me as a very vibrant game at the moment, which, which surprises me because normally Nintendo does, a, does an A plus job in the graphics department of things. Um, and, you know, maybe all their effort went into the polygon stuff. So whatever. I mean, like, it doesn't mean it's a bad game or anything, but this is something I've noticed. Anyway, here, I seem to be trapped. Man, this grass goes grows back really fast. So I guess we have to go... Where do we have to go? Oh, God. I can't even tell, like, where, where there's ground so I could, like, maybe climb up. No, nothing, nothing. Oh, there's a, there's a switch here. I've seen this before. That caused a fire which burned away a spider web. And stuff. Okay. Oh, there's a chest in here, I think. I think, yes. The camera angles are a little challenging on the N64 because you only have one analog uh, thumbstick. You can't move the camera with a second thumbstick. We light our stick on fire. Good. Now, now what can we do with this? I feel like if we go in the water, it's just it's game over. The stick is going to douse itself out. Yeah, it went away. It burned. We burned a stick. We ruined our stick. Never gonna forgive myself for that one. What is what is in here? Hmm. Okay, so we gotta get in there. How do we do that? How do we do that? Can we shoot something? Nope. Uh, that didn't do anything. Is there anything to shoot? Or something? Hmm. This is this is where we found ourselves in the last video. We kind of got stuck for our, for you know long periods of time. <laughs> How the heck do we get like if if Link would just take a take a stab and do like a, a, a simple jump? I feel like we could totally get up there. But he's like very reluctant to do so. 
All right, let's, what's in here? No, nothing. No hints, Navi. Nothing. Navi, Navi came up to tell me that I could press A to open a door. He was very, he was very set on that being an essential tip. But when it comes to how to find our way out of this seemingly death trap of pit of water and spider webs, you got nothing to say, nothing to add to the conversation. Navi, you are useless. Like, can I make the jump? Nope. Can't do that. I guess I should try and collect that thing, whatever that is. Um, okay. Link, that was lazy. Okay, here we go. Running, running start. Oh, God, Link. Oh, my God. I wish I was Mario right now. He could jump his way out of anything. Okay, here we go. How about this? Like the stick. And we... That stick... Oh, man, the stick was lasting. We were in the water, but it was lasting. I think you can walk across the water here. Okay, here we go. We're gonna walk. Easy. And jump. There we go. We'll burn this... Burn it all down. That is, a, that is another sound effect that is from the original Zelda. I already talked about this in the other videos, but it feels like there's kind of like... Um, oh, crap. <laughs> there's kind of like two eras of the Zelda games. There's the 2D and the 3D. And I myself was always a bigger fan of... Please forgive me, Master. I'll never do it again. Are you the same guy that made that promise last time? Because he sure looked like the same guy. Uh, you will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is two, three, one. Uh, do you think I'm a traitor? Well, kind of, but who am I to, who am I to judge? Two, three, one, okay. But yeah, there's, there's the 2D and the 3D Zelda games. And like, there's even modern 2D games. Like, uh, they make, uh, they make them for the DS and stuff all the time. But like, I myself was always, Navi, are you here to tell me that I can open the door? Strong iron bars are blocking the door. You can't open them with your hands. Um, well, anything else to add there, Navi? Okay, thanks for nothing, I suppose. Can't open them with your hands. What does that mean? I'll open them with the power of love? I don't know. But anyway, I was always more of a fan of the 2D games modern or old i don't know it's just the when it comes to zelda games there you go you die when it comes to zelda games like there's just something like classic about the 2d games in my opinion but the 3d games i didn't really ever play so yeah i don't know like i'm playing it now and it's it's been fine so far um i don't want to get too far into like my thoughts on this game i usually wrap up every video at the end. There we go, we got that crappy thing. But it does strike me as like, it's harder to control, it's harder to see what's in a room, it's harder to solve the puzzles. I don't know, just maybe, maybe I'm showing my age. I'm like, Gaming J, no understand 3D. But uh, I, I know these games are beloved to people who grew up with them, so um, I'm not gonna rag on it too much, but just myself, what I'm noticing is that like, um, it's just, it's just not the same as a 2D Zelda game to me. I don't know, I guess my heart will always be a, a 2D Zelda player. It's just who I am. Alright, hey, you promised you would never do this again, and now you're literally doing it again. Come here, you, you, you jerk. Uh, please forgive me, master. I'll never do it again. We've heard this tale before. You literally just promised it. Okay. The order is 2, 3, 1. Yes. You told us that before. 23 is number one. Okay. Do you think I'm a traitor? Dude, all I know is stop spitting crap at me. I don't care what else you do. Okay, I can't open with my hands. I get it, Navi. What are these? Can we use these for something? No, nothing. What do I have other than my hands? A bullet bag? Dear God. Imagine he gets like an Uzi later on. A machine gun. Here you are, Ganon. M16, MP5, fully automatic. With gr uh, optional attached grenade launcher. 
until we punish Ganon. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. We do this. So in every dungeon in Zelda, you get an item in the dungeon, and you have to use that item for all sorts of stuff. Ah, so when in doubt, get your slingshot out. That's a Gaming J motto. And we use our little... Navi gave us that little tip that let us, hey, if you w up, walk up to a door, press the blue button to open it. <laughs> oh, Navi, what are you going to instill in us now? After you get into the water, if you hold down A, you can dive. I bet there are some interesting things underwater. Shut your hole, Navi. I'm going to dive, but not because you told me. I'm going to dive just uh, for funsies. All right, here we go. Hit a little switch down there. And we're gonna get on. Nope, nope, nope. Get up, get up. Get. Climb the thing. No, you're gonna get crushed, Link. Link, you're gonna get crushed. Link, get. 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 <laughs> oh my God. So this is this is another l little annoying thing about this game is that there's uh, you know, you you can't climb on things that you clearly should be able to climb on. It's kind of kind of silly, honestly. Like, oh, he can climb that. That was no problem. But climbing that moving platform out of the uh, out of the water, that was just, that was just too much for him. Okay, forget actually getting hurt fighting this thing. Just straight up kill it this way. We have a slingshot for a reason. I am sick and tired. These mother effing spiders in this mother effing dungeon hurt me. Just gonna shoot them with seeds. I'm heavily armed in seeds and sticks, like any true hero of old, and I'm gonna use them. God damn it! All right, Navi, what what do you want to tell me? Stand next to this block and grab it with A while holding. You can push or pull. Stand next to the block and press A while pressing towards the block. You can climb on top of it. Pay attention to what the action button says. I'll pay attention to you, Navi. All right. Push this thing like this. I assume it has to go over here because that's not where it was. And then we're going to go ahead and climb it. Climb. There we go. And climb again. Oh, we're, we're, we're solving puzzles, man. It's like we're, we work for Aperture Science or something. Link, Link could, uh, could teach Gladys a thing or two. Can we kill all the things? What is that? Something. We're gonna kill it. I just presume it's bad. All right, we good? Oh, we gotta, we gotta solve the puzzle of putting the fire on the, the thingies. There we go. Once you solve, once you learn the basic mechanics of puzzle solving in most Zelda games, it becomes a little trivial. Let me just say, we're we're kind of pros at this. All right, here we go. Uh, one of these things again. I'm just gonna do this to you. I like how the spider's like, hmm, dangling in front of him and spinning around to reveal my gut has not served me well. Now I die. Maybe I should have actually gotten off my spider web and, oh, I don't know, attacked him or some such thing. Oh, what is this thing? That's new. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna kill it. It's some, it's a thing. We got things with the thing in here. Guys, watch out, it's a trap. There are things in here. Okay. They're, they're not very threatening, though. They're kind of, they're trivial, in fact. They're really just token enemies here to mildly distract me from actually solving the puzzle and getting out of here. Burn that down. <clears throat> There's one over here, too, isn't there? Let's burn this down, too. My stick lasts long enough? Oh, I burnt it, it went out. Okay, hold on. Man, that stick, it was looking fine, then all of a sudden it was like, and I'm done. Here we go. Yes. Okay, so that clearly looks like an exit hole. <laughs> That's what she said, but if you know what I mean. Uh, let's go in here. Hey, you get away from me. You die, you stupid. Thing with the things. Wait, what? What is even in there? Anything? Looks like a, a door. Kind of. Maybe. Nothing. Can't even tell. 
Okay. Uh, where was the exit over here? Let's try. Let's enter this small hole and uh, let's see where it goes. Feeling adventurous. Feel. I feel like this is just gonna lead me back to the water room. Am I wrong? Am I wrong about that? This just looks like the uh, water room. Oh God. Come here, you. You die now. Okay. We'll kill you too. You die too. Okay, we gotta we gotta jump on something and land on this to get down to the boss. That I know for sure. So it's uh, this, and I guess we're gonna have to go climbing. Back to climbing, fellas, ladies and gents, I should say. People. Okay, so now we have an easy way to get back up here. Let's just look up for a second. Like there, there's nothing up there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's check our map here. Wait, wait. We've, we've been in all the rooms. So how do we get down there? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait. I know, we use a stick. The, the, the thing? No? There's, there's two things right here. Link, use your brain. Right, we gotta go to this one. Oh, I see. I get it. So we do this. Then we can like hop like a little monkey over like this. And then we can. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, how do we actually light it? Boy, that spider web was highly flammable. Eh? It just went up. Just went up in a second. Ooh, let's get a heart. Not, not spooky at all that there's just like a heart in the bottom of a, a watery pit. Alright, let's swim out of here. I'm sure that everything now will be okay. Oh my god. You guys promised you weren't gonna do this anymore. You said you're gonna turn over a new leaf, so to speak. Um, I can't lock onto these guys properly. Oh god. Alright. Well, here we go. Come here, you. Die, die, die. Oh wait, I gotta do two, three, one. Okay, so that was two. Oh god. Uh, where are they? Okay, that's, that's three right behind me. Three, all right, and now we go for one. Come on, come on, come on. Don't waste my time. Boom, how did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Gamra to you. I've annoyed them so much that they're now helping me for some reason. All right, in order to administer the coup de grace to Queen Gamra, strike with your sword. While she's stunned. Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that. These guys are just the worst. They're the worst henchmen ever. It's like, I didn't even really kill them. I just really frustrated and annoyed them so much that they were like, ah, forget it. All right, here's how you beat the boss. Here's how you kill our leader. Didn't take much, in fact. There was literally no interrogation. They were just like, ah, forget it. Here's how you do it. Good luck. Go kill her. And we got full health. All right, this is it, my friends. This is what we have been building to. Wait, where's the door? This place is so damn dark. Where is the door? This way? Wait. I'm, like, looking at the radar. There we go. All right, here. here. This is what we've been building to. Two episodes of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. What foul beast lies behind this door? I'm going to guess some kind of giant spider or flower. Because <clears throat> that's what we've been fighting. I'm gonna guess that that is what's in here. So here we go. It's dark. It's cursed. The tree is cursed, of course. Darkness. What were we gonna find, Navi? And why didn't I wear pants on this adventure? I didn't really get dressed this morning. I'm still in my PJs. Um, this does not look good gonna run forward and assume that eventually everything will be okay for me. Where? The, 
what the so the boss is fighting our own fears in the dark okay things are getting louder oh wait do we have to crop oh there's something there's a thing it's looking at us it's a spider called it well kind of Parasitic Armored Arachnid. Gamra. Oh, Gamra. Do not do this, buddy. Gamra, wait. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Give me a second. Hold on. Time out. I need to learn my keys. Gamra. Where are you, Gamra? Gamra, where are you? Gamra, show yourself. Don't do this. Don't be a sneaky Pete. Nobody likes that. What is this? Eggs are falling. Oh, don't let them hatch. Bad things, I'm sure, will come out. I'm killing your young, Gamera. How do you like that? There we go. Alright. So I think we gotta shoot this thing in the eyeball. That's what would bother me if I was a Gamera. Um, this doesn't seem to... Doesn't seem to do anything! Uh, get him! Get him right in the eye! Get him! Okay, flee! That was a horrible plan. Ill thought out, ill conceived. Um. Uh, I. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, round one goes to Gamera. But Gaming J's no quitter. Alright, here we go. Take two. Wait. It starts us back here? Oh, God. That was a hard fall. Take a knee there, Link. Take a knee, buddy. Kill these things. Jeez. Poor boy, <laughs> Link. I thought it would just start us at the boss. I didn't think we'd have to go through all this again. Luckily, everything's like open, so we just. We go down this way. Um, Poor Link. He is. He is just vulnerable to the, to the poor controls of old Game and Jay. We find our way through here. Okay. We don't quite have full health, but we're pretty close. Time for round two, Gamra. Your Gamra gonna get out of here, fail. I don't know how to say that in an intimidating way, but we're gonna beat you is what I'm trying to get at, Gamra. So here it comes. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, come on. Yeah, we stunned her. Yeah, attack, attack. Kill her. I assume it's a her because she lays eggs. Maybe it's like a really fatherly he. Who knows? Where are you going? Boy, this lock on thing's really convenient, actually. All right, come on, Gamera. Boom! So you have to shoot Gamera in the eye when the eye is red. That's how you do it. Other than that, there really isn't much to this boss. In fact, we just beat her. So as far as bosses go, Gamma, you you were embarrassing. You weren't ready for this. They graduated you from henchman up to boss way too fast. You should have just stuck in your role that you knew you were good at. Example of the the what is it, the Peter Pan principle or whatever? I don't know. Principle where people get promoted to their level of highest incompetence. Because before that, you're doing a job that you're competent at. Uh, you might have to look that up if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyway, we have just beaten a spider that was living in the tree, and a beam of light has absorbed us up back into the world. All right, hipster tree, I entered you and killed what ailed you. Do you feel better? Well done, Jay. Why, thank you, hipster tree. He's like, it looks like he's been yawning this whole time with his mouth just lying open. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. I don't think I've seen a Zelda game before where they've used thoust and ye and shall. Um, oops, I, what did I say yes to? Now listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. He just showed up out of the desert and cast a curse on you? Random. Um, it's Ganondorf. Spoilers. I should say the word spoilers before. <laughs> but you know what? If you're watching this video, you signed up for spoilers. 
Plus, this game is like 10 years old. Don't get mad at me for giving you spoilers. This evil man carelessly uses his vile sorcering powers to search the sacred realm that connects to Hyrule. <coughs> blah, blah, blah for the sacred realm of Triforce. Oh, the Triforce. Triforce shows up in every Zelda game. I think I accidentally said yes to a cutscene, so we're kind of stuck watching this for a bit. So I think basically the backstory is that they, you know, tri some goddesses made Triforces that had power, and then Ganon steals them, becomes... Or Ganondorf steals them, becomes Ganon. We have to get him back and protect things. I mean, that's that's the whole story. The, every Zelda game has a variation of it, I don't know. So I was talking about, like, 2D versus 3D Zelda games. Saying that I myself prefer the 2D ones, even modern ones, like uh, the Minish Cap, I think is a Game Boy DS or something, or a dance game or something. I mean, even that's kind of old these days, but it's a top-down 2D Zelda game, and I quite like it. Um, you know, I, I think at my heart, I just, I enjoy the sort of mechanics of a 2D Zelda game. That's what I kind of grew up on. So, no, no, what, what are your, what's your guys' like opinion of, of Zelda? Do you... Is it, is it the case that you really like the sort of N64 and onward 3D Zelda games? Uh, if so, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to agree with me on every game preference out there. Um, but Or are you like me, where you're sort of like, you know what, 3D Zelda, it's just not Zelda anymore. Like, Zelda was always 2D, top-down. You know, like, Link to the Past is sort of the prototypical Zelda game. I don't know. What do you, I don't know. Like, Or do you like them both? Hey, you're allowed to like them both, too, if you want. That's fine. These goddesses are, like, flying around, doing stuff. Shabam! Zam! Making Triforces and powers out of the rain. Very impressive. I feel like as a kid, I was far more into, like, the mystical legends behind all this stuff. But, like, as an adult, I'm just like, yeah, I don't know. Goddesses made a Triforce. What to do, you know, like, it's... It's really just, it's a MacGuffin. It's a, it's a thing that keeps the story moving. Am I right? You know, all you film buffs out there, the MacGuffin, it's like just a thing that like makes the plot happen. And like in a lot of these video games, it's like, not, you know, like like Mario makes no pretenses of a backstory. They're like, I don't know, Peach got kidnapped again. You gotta go save her. Like in Zelda, they're like coming up with this whole backstory and this legend and stuff. And, you know, fans can get into it and that's fair enough. But like, I feel like, you know, <laughs> When you get old like me, guys, you stop worrying too much about the backstory. Because they're all the same. I don't know. They're all just... Stuff happens. You gotta go kill stuff. Some games, you know, have really cool backstories. But uh, I, I think it just depends. It depends, like, what you grew up with, what you really got into. Um, yeah. And, and again, there are games like Mario. They're just like, I don't know, whatever. Mario has to jump around on stuff. Do you need a story, really? Seriously? You need backstory here? Because we're not going to give it to you. Because in Mario, it's just like, I don't know, he's jumping again. That's just what he's doing. Anyway, Link's having this deep conversation with the tree. I'm going to get a little farther in this game, but uh, then I'll probably wrap it up. I don't think I'll... Uh, I mean, I definitely am not going to beat a second dungeon here. Um, I just, you know, don't have the time to do that with this game. And I feel like in the spirit of the Le you know, Let's Play a Thousand One Games series, I'm really just here trying to get a first impression and see... What is this game like? And so far, I feel like I've got a pretty good sense. I've run around a town a little bit, done a little exploring, and uh, played through a dungeon. So let's just see what kind of world opens up after this. Do a little exploring, and then uh, and I'll tell you my thoughts. I'm gonna I'm gonna tease you with them for just now. I'll let you know my thoughts on this game. But I entreat ye, Navi. Goodbye. So he gives me Navi. It's kind of like your ghost in Destiny. For anyone who's played Destiny. Um, oh, God. I think the tree died. The tree... Uh, tree's not looking so good right now, Navi. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Jay. Let's. It'll be a fun little adventure. Just some Jay and Navi time. We don't get enough time, just the two of us. Goodbye, sweet prince. Sweet ancient tree. Still don't quite know why Ganon cast a spell. Oh, God. Are you going to be a dick about this? Again? Let me out. Hey, Jay, what did you do? The great Deku tree, did he die? How could you do a thing like that? It's all your fault. Well, you're just mad because I told you your life is meaningless. So, I, I don't really care about your opinion. Because we're blowing this pop stand. So long, 
village that I have grown up with my entire life and that I, I assume I love and like. Everyone I've ever known. Goodbye. Goodbye, you. <coughs> I am now fleeing. This is what I do in games. I cause a lot of disaster and I flee. Oh, you're leaving? Yep. See ya. Green-haired lady. I got a feeling I have a crush on her or something. I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Jay. Because you are different from me and my friends. Yep. That's correct. But that's okay, because we'll be friends forever, won't we? Oh, well, if I never see you again and never talk to you, then... Not really, but I'm going to say yes just to calm you down. Or nothing. I want you to have this ocarina. Please take good care of it. I will. The ocarina of time. You received the fairy ocarina. This is a memento from Saria. Set it to C and press C to start playing. On the select item subscreen, you can select it. Oh god, okay. Every time you get an item, they tell you all this. So I guess this is a bit different. Telling you to play notes and stuff. When you play my ocarina, I hope you will think of me and come back to the forest and visit. Well, sure. Hope that. That's, that's a fine thing to hope. Um, come on, Navi, let's let's go. <laughs> then he just, like, runs. She's like, he, he didn't even get to say goodbye. And here we are! Hyrule Field. We have left the forest village that we have grown up with our whole life, and we can now explore the outside world. I'm excited. There's cool things to find out here. How about you, Navi? Let's go meet some chicks. Actually, let's go ahead and equip... Our Ocarina of Time. Swap it out for those nuts. Because they ain't doing us any favors. Let's, let's see what we can do with this thing. Maybe we can meet some chicks with it. Um, oh, I got. I guess I gotta actually play something. How do you, how do you guys like this sweet tune? It's ca I call it Jay's Melody. I'm just sort of r randomly mashing buttons hoping something will happen. Nothing. All right, well, I guess we got to learn how to play some tunes. That's okay, though. Um, oh, Hoot Hoot, Jay, look up here. I'm an owl. It appears that the time has finally come for you to start your adventure. You will encounter many hardships ahead that your fate... This is your fate. Don't feel discouraged, even, the, even during the toughest times. Go straight this way, and you will see Hyrule Castle. You will meet a princess there. Spoilers, dude, spoilers! If you're lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. <clears throat> the areas are explored, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> so this Ocarina of Time, actually, this Ocarina that I've got, actually ends up being pretty important. I believe you use it to eventually open up portals and possibly travel through time. Um, oh, God, I clicked no to that. Oh, is there a way to... Oh, God. Oh, oh no, I did it again. Okay, hold on. I got it. Why is the default option repeat yourself? That should never be the default option in the game. Go away, owl. I got it. Thanks for the tips, random owl. This Ocarina of Time lets you eventually open up portals and go through time. And hence the namesake of the game. So I don't... We probably are not going to get to a point where uh, we'll actually see any time portals or anything. The Great Decker Tree wants us to go visit Hyrule Castle. Shouldn't we get going? I thought I was going, but okay, Navi. Let's see. Let's let's read this sign and see if I was going the right direction. Yeah, Hyrule Castle is this way, Navi. I was going the right goddamn direction. Do not bother me when I am doing the will of the Great Deku Tree. Ask me if I should do the will of the Great Deku Tree, because I'm doing the will of the Great Deku Tree. I'm following his command. His last dying wish was for you to shut up and let me get on with things. We're going to go meet Zelda here, of course. And we'll have some encounters with what the hell is happening. This is terrifying. Oh, God, it's night. The wolves are going to get us. Navi. Navi. We're dead. We're dead. Run for the castle. Somebody help us. Boy, listen to those, like, nighttime sound effects. They actually sound semi-realistic. Oh, jeez, what is this? I don't know, but let's kill it. Some kind of skeleton man. Oh, there's another one. Skeletons. 
Okay, the people, the guards who man Hyrule Castle really ought to work on the skeleton problem they got going on out here. There's not too many, just a couple. But still, I mean, uh, oh god, more skeletons! Kill them! Kill the skeletons! Gotcha, buddy. Now what? I, I guess we can't just swim our way into the castle. Alright, oh, uh, where, did we trap ourselves? Hmm. Um, this might not have been the right way to go. Seriously? Are we falling trapped in the moat? <laughs> the morning comes and they just see Link swimming around the moat. They're like, uh, who are you and why are you, why are you down in the, the water there, little boy? Okay, here we go. Sorry! I thought I thought I could just swim into the castle, but thanks thanks for letting me in. No one's guarding the gate or manning it, but you know, whatever. You know what I just realized? I have a rumble pack in this controller, and I've had it in since Star Fox, and of course this game has no rumbling, so it's just kinda of been dead weight in the controller. That's a shame. I wish it I wish it did something. Oh, look these guys they're telling a good joke. Let me in on the joke. Tell me, are you what are you what are you playing? Tell me the joke. God, they look freakish. Wahaha, <clears throat> what a crazy guy. Can you believe this guy was crazy enough to try to sneak into the castle to see Princess Zelda? Well, because of this idiot, they've tightened security at the castle. Wahaha. -ha -ha. That's what you're laughing at? And you're like repeatedly laughing. You guys are idiots. What's going on over here? Hey, a chicken! Kill the chicken! I know how Zelda games work. Get the chicken! <laughs> I can't catch the cuckoo. Call the chicken. And you don't catch him, you attack him. What's this guy have to say? Ahem, ahem. This beard is my pride and joy. Does it look like luxuriant, kid? Yeah, give me that beard. Anyway, uh, going on with the time stuff. Apparently, at some point in this game, you end up jumping ahead like seven years, which is pretty crazy. Um, and you become like an adult Link. So there's a bit of like time travel going on in this game, which, uh,. I appreciate here. Hyrule Castle. Oh wait, that wasn't even Hyrule Castle, that was just some kind of like town. Hey Jay, this way. The princess is inside the castle, just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. Ho 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 hoot. Um, on this ground. Wait, why don't the guards want me to see Zelda? Am I, is it like off limits? It's like you haven't earned enough hero points to be able to bother Zelda. Well, which way are you going now? Hoo hoo hoot. Do you want to hear what- Oh god. Again! No. I do not want to hear what you had to say again. Why is your default always yes? Stupid owl. The owl was definitely- that, that was in Link's Awakening as well. I don't know where they- Did this come out before or after Link's Awakening? I don't even know. Okay, I'm supposed to like avoid the guards, but like can I just like clearly run past one? What's up? Uh, so you say you want to see Princess Zelda, eh? You probably heard about her in town and decided you had to meet her. Well, go home, get out of here. The princess would never grant an audience the likes of you. You don't know me. Fine, I will get out of here. But guess what? Oh, wait. I was like, maybe I can find alternate route in. It doesn't actually look like it. Hold on. Is there really nothing I can do? Can I climb the tree? I'm gonna try and climb the tree. That doesn't do anything. Can I grab the rocks? Can I... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. There's gotta be something. Look at this. Ha-ha! The guard's like, well, that kid will probably never get past here. Don't have to worry about anything. What is this? Statue's one-eyed gaze pierces into your mind. Dear God. Alright, well, I know what to do with that. It's called slingshot time, baby. Hey, what the heck? I'm just wasting all my uh, nuts. What is this thing? It's, I know, it's, it's piercing gaze, pierces into my eyes, whatever, my soul. It's gonna go this way. Oh wait, there's a guard right there. Hey, you stop, kid, stop there. <laughs> oh man, oh they, they kicked this out. Bull, man. Bull. Okay. So this is a stealth 
mission, I guess. Oh, who are you? Hello, you look close enough to Zelda. You're different. You're not from around here, are you? I'm from a place that doesn't believe in pants. Oh, you're a fairy boy. A fairy boy from the forest. Yeah, yep. My name is Malon. Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk, and he hasn't come back yet. Well, that sounds rather terrifying. I hope your dad's okay. Tell you what, if I see him, I'll tell you... I'll tell him that you're worried about him or something. I don't know. I'll pass your message along. Okay, so... We want to go down here now. Um, down here. Down. Down. <gasps> there we go. <clears throat> we gotta avoid the guards. Man, I kind of want to wave to this guy. Oh, wait. Where are we here? <clears throat> Get out here. I kind of want to wave to this guy. Be like, hey, buddy. Psych! And run away. But I guess that would just be tipping my... My hand. Not right, going on here. Dead end. Hmm. The fact that you have to label a dead end makes me think it's not a dead end. I bet we could put a bomb there or something later in the game. But okay, fair enough. No. What? No, damn it! But how do we get in to see the princess? Are you serious? Okay, one more shot here. One more shots. Maybe we have to, like, seduce the guards. We do have, like, a musical instrument. Can we, like, play, like, a song that, like, uh, enchants their hearts and lets them... It gives us gives us a shot to get in. Okay, climb the thing, Link. She is singing, like, the most terrifying song ever. Sounds like it's going to summon the spirits of the dead to come haunt and murder us. Um, no. No. Go. Go down here. Just drop. Oh, God. Just go down. You'll be okay. There we go. Open. Okay. No, the trick is, how do we... Where do we go from here? I wish we could just attack the guards. Hmm. This way? Is this gonna work? No, they're, they're literally looking at me. They can see me. I'm not hidden at all. Um, okay, the, the only other idea I have, the only other idea I have is uh, to go back in here to uh, climb my way up, to climb, cli climb my way up. I will say, although they have like context sensitive buttons, they're kind of annoying sometimes that they don't work as fast as I think they probably should. Oh, what's this? Uh, the current time is 8.32. Okay. Can I, like, run and jump? Oh, he saw me! Okay. Well, I don't know how to get in to see Zelda. That's okay, because we're, we're pretty much out of time, guys. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is one of the games in the book 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. So let's talk about that for a second. Is this a game that you must play before you die? Well... I'm a little biased here. As I've told you, I never grew up with these 3D Zelda games. And so for me, coming and playing this game today, I did have some fun with it. It is, it is, like, it seems like a decently uh, fun game. And I, I'm sure if I had more time to play through, um, I could, you know, get my way through the game and so on and probably have a decent time with it. The only thing is, though, it didn't really, like, draw me in the way other games sometimes do. And again, this might be my own personal preference speaking a little bit here, but I can say that it definitely has the mark of a Nintendo game where it seems like there's pretty high quality here, there's some interesting innovations for its time, but things like all the all the dialogue you have to sit through, the environments, I know it was early polygon time, you know, so you can't really pick on the graphics or environments too much, but the environments are kind of big and open and sparse. The 2D Zelda games just felt like, oh, is this how you do it? Oh my god, we just figured it out. No, we failed. The 2D Zelda games always felt like the levels were more detailed. Like, especially, like, go and look at Link's Awakening on the Game Boy. It's a top-down 2D game, but the environments didn't feel as, like, empty sometimes as, as these environments sometimes do. Um, and, of course, as I've already said, my own preference, I think, is for those 2D Zelda games. 
So in the 3D one, I find it's a little hard to figure out where to go or what to look at. Whereas in the 2D ones, it's like much easier to just see everything on the screen and the controls and mechanics are just more my speed. So ultimately, you know, is this a game that you must play before you die? For me, this is not a must play, um, I must say. Like my, you know, if you're a gamer like me, this is, you know, you can probably skip the 3D Zelda games. I was hoping to maybe be proven wrong and to be enchanted by them in some way. Um, and I didn't dislike this game, but it's just, it didn't really, like, draw me in in any magical or special way, so. Um, that's my thoughts on it. Oh, we just got by the guards! Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, no, there's two more guards there. Oh, I almost got caught right away. Wait, you just, like, walk this way? Okay. Anyway, those are my thoughts, so I wouldn't say this is a must-play. I would say, like, ultimately, um, this is a game that you could play. This is a maybe. Um, and it will really depend on, like, what your own preferences are and what kind of games you, uh, you enjoy. Can we just walk behind this guy? Nope. What? I was behind you, dude. I was behind you. All right, fine. Anyway, that's my thoughts. What do you guys think? Do you think the that Ocarina of Time and all the 3D Zelda games, in fact, are classics that, uh, that really, you know are definitely worth playing before you die, or do you think, you know, well, they appeal to a certain type, and if you're looking for a certain type of game, you'll have a lot of fun with them, but they're not necessarily ones that you have to play. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below, and either way, whether you agree with uh, my uh, ultimate uh, opinion or not, um, hopefully you've enjoyed exploring this game with me today. Hopefully you've enjoyed my sort of first impression here. If you have, go ahead and give the video a like and or subscribe to the channel. I will be back um, not in a couple days with a new video and a new game because I am taking a break, as I said, because it is the holidays. But I will be back with that live stream, the Star Fox any Super Nintendo live stream. And I have nailed down a date for that, by the way. It's going to be happening on Monday, December 19th. Uh, I haven't figured out the time specifically, although by the time I upload this, uh, the video may already be scheduled on my YouTube channel. So check to see if it's scheduled. If not, you can follow me on Twitter, um, or you can just check back in at some point on Monday. It'll probably be in the evening time when I actually do all this. So check back in, and uh, yeah, you don't want to miss it. And I have a few other um, holiday goodies lined up over the break, so uh, do... Do uh, check back in soon to uh, find out about all that stuff. But anyway, I'm so close to Zelda, yet so damn far, and I feel like I'm just never going to get in. I don't know how to get past this. Here, like, there's no hint. I don't know. I, I kind of don't like this stealth part. It kind of feels like I'm just being thrown to the wolves, and I can't really see where any of the guards are, because the, you know, the cameras are just not what I want them to be, and I don't know. This whole stealth part is actually kind of a crappy way to end the game because I feel like this is the part I, I, I kind of am losing patience with. But anyway, anyway, guys, uh, if I don't, if I don't, if you don't watch any of my videos before the holidays are over, enjoy your holidays, enjoy your time off, get in some gaming if you can. Until next time, take care of yourselves. All right, guys, peace. The thing with these guards is it's not like Metal Gear Solid where you have to stay out of their line of sight. It's like you just can't walk within like a certain range of them, even if they're not facing you, which is kind of stupid actually. Oh, okay, you can actually climb this. I mean, you're just gonna have to find this like little hidden path here, and I don't know. It's like I appreciate they're trying to add a different type of gameplay in here, but like it's it's really hard to like focus the camera, so I can't even see if I'm facing like the right way or I don't know. Do we swim in here now? Go for a swim in the moat? Zelda, you will have no idea the trouble I went through to see you. If I ever meet you. If I ever make it to you. Are we, are we past the guards now? Oh, man. I, I don't know how... Oh, now I'm just trapped in the moat forever. So, uh, yeah, our life situation has improved. Oh, no, we can go this way. And then... <clears throat> what is this? Oh, somebody's sleeping. Can we speak to this guy? Zzz, mumble, mumble, mumble. Welcome to our ranch. It's so fun. Come look around. We're never meeting Zelda. We're never gonna meet Zelda! Oh, well. <laughs>